Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure here. I've got a noisy little bird up here, so excuse me. <laughs> I've got... Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure here. I've got a CO2 tank. It is a 10 pound tank that is made by Priest Precision. And they sell these kits so you can have this portable air tank to take inside a house or leave it in your vehicle for using all types of air tools like nailers, impact wrenches, grinders, you name it. And you could also, you know, it's great for off-road if you need to air up and air down your tires. It's really fast to do that. Probably the fastest out there for airing up your tires. So I want to show it to you. Um, I want to show you the kit that you can get as a complete. You can also piece this together piece by piece. It'll save you some money or, you know, let's just say you have some parts at home and that'll save a lot of money. But so anyways, let's go check this thing out. Hey guys, I got a new toy here from Priest Precision. They make a, a CO2 tank for inflating tires, but also for using tools, like to remove a wheel from a car or to use a nail gun or any types of sockets that you can hit, hook up to an air compressor. So let's see what's in the box. We got a Priest Precision coiled air hose. I believe it is 20 feet long. We got a Priest Precision air gauge. Let's check this out. Look at that. That's a nice one. It's a digital tire pressure gauge. Also comes with a couple of accessories if you want to customize it a little bit. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, here's the gauges. This is pretty nice. It's got this nice gauge here. Goes up to 400 PSI here and goes up to 3000 on this one. And has this nice adjustable, very solid knob on it. It also comes with some little directions and information here. Got a carrying handle, and it's also very heavy duty to protect this section of gauges here in case it falls over. Ah, look at this. Also in the bag is this nice carrier that you can attach to the inside of your truck or roll bar or whatever else you need. And the CO2 tank will just sit in there. It has little rubber feet in there. Very nice, heavy duty. Be sure and check out my other video where I show you how I made a, a mount using 80-20 to bolt to the inside of my truck bed to mount the CO2 tank. Doesn't weigh very much, a couple of pounds. And here's the tank. Check this out. Wow, look at that. It's got a nice handle on it. It is, it is plastic but it's very nice. It's stamped with the date. DO2, DOT code, serial number, and a date. And this right here, I presume, screws on like that. Yeah, very nice. I like this. It's gonna be very nice and portable. so that you can take it in the house if you needed to use a nail gun or in the garage. It's very portable for removing the wheels to the car. Look 
There we go. Just have to push it in a little further and it goes right in. It's very solid though. So there you go. All I need to do is get some tape, put these together, and then we'll have it. Another very solid chuck right here. So let's go get this thing together. So besides some extra plumber's tape, because you know how that stuff messes up sometimes trying to tear it, you will need a couple or a set of wrenches and a couple of adjustable wrenches. And that'll help you tighten all the quick fittings and um, all the different, you know, the gauges to the tank and the fittings to the hose. You will also need a large Allen wrench to put the protective handle on it that protects it from falling. I'm not sure of the millimeters of this. Um, it's a large one, it's eight or nine. Anyways, that is what I've got here. Um, and there's the quick assembly. And here you can see I have a few of the tools laying out here. There's the high pressure gauge, the accessories it comes with, the hose. It comes with some advertisements for some different things that pre Precision cells. Comes with some stickers for the tank. They look like regulatory stickers. Um, you can do what you want with those. Uh, you could put your favorite microbrew sticker on the tank or your favorite mountain bike sticker or whatever you want to do. It's kind of a neat thing to sticker up. But anyways, it all goes together really easy. For me, it was pretty much self-explanatory. I still don't quite understand how the gauge works. I've got to do some more studying on that. But anyways, it's all really quality product here. This is all really nice, solid pieces and you won't be disappointed. The gauge is a 3000 series precision machined zero to 250 PSI non-freezing CO2 regulator. It's a very nice built regulator with really nice gauges. I'm not very familiar with these to be honest, but the quality is definitely there. The bracket for the CO2 tank is made of steel. It's very, very heavy duty and very, um, let me say the clamp on it is very sturdy. It holds it in place and you can put a pin or a small padlock to hold it permanently and keep it from getting stolen once it's bolted inside your vehicle. Overall, the tank bracket is very strong. The tank is a DOT 10 pound machined brushed aluminum cylinder. It has all the proper dates and numbers on it. So when you take it to get it filled, they can see those. I would weigh the tank before you leave the house and then weigh it after it is filled. That's probably the best way to measure how low you're getting on the CO2 before you go out on a trip or out on a job to do some work. So remember that. You have to be careful putting these in. You wanna make sure that you tighten these down even going back and forth. Otherwise you will break this alloy. I learned that a long time ago, tightening the handlebars the handlebar stem on my old BMX bike. You gotta be careful. See, that looks wrong. Let's turn it around. This is easy. You have to put this handle on, it protects the, the gauges. 
I don't know all the proper terms for using CO2. Tanks, I will learn. This is just a show and tell. I'll be using this probably more for air tools. Like they can guarantee that. Take it in the house, use it for a nail gun. All kinds of good stuff. All right, now let's make sure we get this even. It's good. Looks good. Snug it up. Going back and forth. There we go. It's got a nice place to grab right here. Look at that. What do you think? Good job. Here is the rock guard regulator and the valve protection handle. It's a very substantial handle and will protect the tank if it falls over or if something bangs into it in the back of your vehicle or while you're carrying it somewhere. It's, it's very good and well built. Has a very nice finish on this tank with the valve and all the components that come with it. You can build this piece by piece. You can start off small with just a tank and a basic valve and some an air hose that you might get from Harbor Freight or wherever but you can also buy it as a package so think about what you're gonna use it for first and then think about how you can build out this package maybe I just want a tank with just a simple valve and a hose because I already have all the tools or I already have an air gauge or whatever maybe you already have a bracket or maybe you don't need a bracket because you're just gonna leave this thing in your garage or in the, or wherever but so just think about that when you shop for one I will put links under the video in the description that show you where you can buy these on Amazon or directly from Priest Precision and have it shipped right to your home well I hope you like that video on the CO2 canister it was a 10 pound canister you can get them in 15 and 30 and all different sizes for your shop I like the 10 pound, it's portable, came with a nice grab handle that protects the valves on top. And you know, it's just, um, you can use this for all different types of jobs. Um, if you have a workshop and you're always cutting and milling stuff, it's great. Especially if you need to then go into the house to do something, say you're a, say you're a carpenter and you do side jobs for people. You don't always have a place to plug up an air compressor, so you can carry this tank and use all your tools your air tools, say a nailer, a brad nailer, or something like that, to um, finish your jobs. This thing is great. The quality is there. Like I said, you can piece this together in pieces if you already have some of it at home, or you can buy it as a complete kit. Um, it works great, and you know, I just think it, it's, it's super handy, especially for the handyman out there, or anyone doing odd and end jobs, or going off-road. You can air up your tires so fast with this. And you could also help somebody on the side of the road with a flat tire by plugging their tire and just airing it right up. It would work fantastic for that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got some more videos coming, so stay tuned. And if you would, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you later. See ya.